What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys high school stories. I believe it's episode 29. And today's topic is the best day of my sophomore year. Um, real quick, the gameplay in the background is a Detroit team deathmatch gameplay. I end up using a KF5. I don't know why I start off with a bow, but um, yeah, I don't know what I go. Uh, I forgot to show the scoreboard at the end. This is from a while ago, though. Um, you, uh, yeah, you might see some of my friends, but this is from the 360. So, yeah, uh, so anyway, um, like I said, this is about the new, the best day of my sophomore year. And uh, another real quick side note, my sophomore year has probably been the best year of school I've ever had. Not just high school, like, uh, I mean the best year of school since, I, since kindergarten. I mean, I used to say that about eighth grade. No, sophomore year's by past it by far. I mean, there's been a lot of stressful things in sophomore year, but I've had a lot of fun in school, and it's been it's been a blast. So this is going to be telling some of those stories. So um, the best day started off with in first period we were playing flicker football in gym, and I was just wrecking. I was I threw three touchdown passes. I caught ten, and I was just destroying the other team. We and my team ended up winning 26 to 16. Um and this the popular kids voted me the MVP of the class, that, which actually made me feel great cuz uh I'm not really known for being good at sports. Uh I mean, I'm not bad at sports, but I'm not definitely I'm definitely nowhere near the caliber of how I played. Um but with how I'm playing in this like how I was playing, I was just getting really excited every time the ball was coming my way. I would score, so that was really fun. Um, and then in the second period, we just had a very easy day, which is French for me, guys. Just say no. Uh, and I just, it was very easy, and they explained like my teacher explained things really well. I did all my work right. I understood the assignment. I understand what I have to do on my quiz now. So I really do. I'm. I'm glad because that was something I was struggling with for a while. Um, and then third period when the day got really, really good. So my friend Luke, uh, we we had just gotten new seats, and my friend Luke sits like two rows fr uh, from me. So I decided, why not throw a pencil at him since he's not paying attention in geometry. Now, for the record, I never pay attention in geometry. It's an easy class for me. It's stuff I've already taken. So I have like a 98 in, or like a 92 in the class, so it's very easy for me. So I never pay attention, but this kid Luke really has to pay attention. So he fell asleep, so I threw a pencil at him. And um, when I threw the pencil at him, it hit him right in the face, because he was leaning on against the wall, and I, it hit him right in the face, and he jumps probably about seven feet in the air. Li like, he literally jumped really high, and... Uh, then he realized it was a pencil, <laughs> and then him and I kept having a pencil war all day. So he throws he throws the pencil back at me when I'm not expecting it. I didn't jump as high. Then I'm standing there at my locker between third and fourth period, my fourth period's bio, and uh, he throws like four of them at me. I was like, "Where did you get four? I threw one at you." And he always asks for a pencil. He's like, "Yeah, I ask people for broken pencils." So he throws he's throwing broken pencils at me. It's actually a lot more fun than it sounds. I know it kind of sounds lame, but we were hitting each other in the face. Uh, we hit. We ended up uh, for, just real quick. Fourth period was not that good of a period. It was boring. It's biology. I hate science. So then, anyway, walking from fourth to fifth period, I threw one at him, and I missed badly. It flew way over his head, and it hit like one of the most popular girls in the school, and she got pissed, and she thought it was him. So of course, I'm I. Like, I see her turn, starting to turn around, so I sprint down the stairwell I'm closest to. He gets blamed for it. She's all, she's in his face. I come around the corner. I'm laughing. He's like, Oster, I'm going to kill you! Which, Oster's my last name. That's whatever. Everybody calls me Oster at school, um, which isn't that big of a deal. Uh, they just, I don't know. There's so many mics, it's just easier to call people their last names. So, anyway, uh, he gets pissed that I got him blamed for it. So then I get to my fifth period. My fifth period is a really good period. It's my favorite class of uh, American government. It's my favorite teacher, Mr. B. Uh, that's actually what we call him. That's not an abbreviation either. That's what we everybody calls him. So anyway, uh, it's my favorite teacher, Mr. V, and he all he tells me that with all this transplant stuff from my dad, 
that uh, if I need anything, to just come to his room and he'll he'll do it for me. Um, which is a great thing to hear from a teacher. And then, so, then I go to lunch for sixth period. I go to seventh period to present my project, get a 95 on my group project that I worked really hard on. And then, eighth period, we just had, just, a, we watched a movie. It was just a perfect day, literally. Then I came home, uh, this was a Tuesday. I came home, watched some TV, played some Xbox, then went to drill. Drill was fun. It was a rope drill, which was really, they're hard. So it's like tying knots and stuff. It w like literally the day could not have been a better day for me. Um, only thing it could have been better is if I didn't have biology, but eh, it's alright. So it, it was just a lot of fun because I felt like I accomplished a lot of things. Um, I felt like it was one of the best days I had in a while, um, and I felt like um, I felt like I learned. I made a few new friends uh, that day just because like. I didn't realize Luke and I were as good of friends. That I think I said I, that's the kid I was having the pencil war with. I don't know if I said that or not. I, I didn't realize how good of friends him and I were until we had the pencil war because it was just a blast. Him and I are laughing about it uh, now. It, it like I didn't. I just realized who my true friends are that day, and that's a really good thing to realize. Uh, it meant you may not get it, but I do. So anyway, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be down in the description below. As always, guys, it's been sick crazy. Hopefully, you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.